Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at the F-15E Strike Eagle and we're doing a cold start from the front seat and a tiny bit of rear seat but mainly it's the front seat today. First, regarding nav alignment, very important. We're going to go into options here. We're going to go into special. We're going to go into F15E. We can choose which kind of alignment is required. Does a full gyro compass alignment need doing or just a stored heading need doing or is the jet fully aligned and doesn't need aligning? Sorry about the baby shouting in the background. In this case, we're going to go for, I guess you call it worst case scenario. We need the full gyro compass alignment. Okay, and here we are in the front seat, fully cold. Let's start with the engines. We need to get the left engine up. So first, generator left up, generator right up. And engine control left on and engine control right on. And master engines left and right. And we need the jet starter on. And we're going to watch that light as we zoom out a bit. We're going to pull the jet fuel starter handle here which will start the jet starter after a few seconds this light will show green and then our starter is running okay it's running we can now start one of our engines over here we'll first start the right engine if we look in front of the right thrust lever we'll see the right finger lift click that and release it now check the engine display which will come online the engine will start spooling and settle at 26 percent and the JSF will turn off. There's the taco. Once at 26%, the right engine lever forwards and back into the idle position. She will now continue spooling to her idle at 72%. At around 60%, electrics will start to come online. There's just one indicator we really want to check, and that's this one emergency boost on and we do have that indicator she's now topped out at 72 percent let's do the radios ufc brightness to max radio one left click to on and choose your channel radio two left click to on and choose your channel now the left engine same procedure get to the finger lift which can be difficult so you may need to bind it but i can just about get it there get to 26 percent Left lever forwards, backwards into idle, and rinse and repeat up to 72%. Both engines fully up and running. Next, I want to check that the JSF light is off. It's kind of hard to see, but that is off. And strangely, this switch here has to say on, so that is staying on. Next, we're going to close the canopy with left control and Charlie. That will close and lock. Next, oxygen. Green lever there. Right click to on. Watch the flow indicator, make sure it changes, and of course it does. Next, displays, MPDs and MPCDs. So, on, 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 and change your contrast and brightness as required. Next, HUD brightness, this guy here. And check. Next, Holding brake on. Next, we're going to our sensor panel down here. Terrain following radar to standby. Radar altimeter on. Radar stays off at this point. INS to GC align due to the reason that I said at the beginning of the video. Or you could do a stored heading alignment, which is much quicker, by the way. Nav blur if relevant, and it might be, so let's just do that now. I'm going to go standby and turn the gains up. JTIDs. I'm going to go to norm. Next is going to be entering our position. So over to the UFC for the alignment. We need to know our current position to do that. Right shift in kilo for our knee pad. And the first page, at least at the time of making this video, will show you our lat, long, altitude and magnetic variation. This is the only fiddly bit of the startup. You have to be very careful what you press, otherwise you can mess it up. So first on the UFC scratch pad, shift, then because we're going to do a lat, so that's northing, first of all. You can see it by the end there. Press 2 here for north, and it will come up with an N. Then type this number as is. Do not type the decimal or the degree sign. 3, 0, 0, 8, 2, 
oh blast I've done one wrong so I'm gonna go clear but be very careful careful with the clear button two zero three now I want to enter it on this line here so press this here next I want to do the easting so I'm going to go shift six for east note you must add an extra zero for reasons I can't really remember but the longitude needs to have an extra zero at the beginning so zero three one two four five eight four and I want to enter it here now that should start aligning so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna check the HUD all right it's gonna give us our commands here on the bottom right of the HUD telling us what to do it's just saying gyro compass no taxi as we speed time forward it will start giving us um, this accuracy counter. It's now telling us how accurate the alignment is. The smaller the number, the more accurate. It will get to a point where, as the accuracy reduces, obviously I'm speeding forward time, this will take several minutes. The stored heading will take less time, and obviously if we've got no alignment required, will take no time. When it's ready to go, it will say, ping, gyro compass, okay. And you can see we get our pitch ladder because the plane now understands where it is and what its current attitude is. Okay, unlock next. We're gonna do our FCS uh, switches, our, our CAS, pitch, roll, your, all on. Our radar can now go on. Why you have to wait to this point, I'd love to know. I'm guessing the radiation would somehow affect the um, alignment, but I don't know that. Uh, next flaps and you will need the flaps down button flaps down and wait apparently also at this point you cycle the speed brake so you will need the speed brake button which I'm sure you've got down as well Ding. assuming our GC is okay we can set our INS to nav this is very important you must not forget to do that kind of thing that I forget to do next standby instrumentation standby ADI we need to uncage it which you kind of awkward to do this click and hold and turn in fact it's really hard to do uh, fiddle with it until the, until the flag goes away basically I still haven't really mastered that uh, next barometric altimeter as per instructions we are going to zero it sorry about the traffic noise so now scroll there next as per instructions set the UFC the UFC has several options this is an early preview so some of the options are not available to get to the various options you use data data one and data 2. You also have menu, menu 1 and menu 2. The only thing we really see that could be relevant at the moment is IFF which is currently off but currently this is not modelled so it's maybe something for the future maybe not we'll see. Next, ooh master caution and what does that mean? Well let's see what the caution is. It's divs flow, something to do with airflow. Well what could we have done wrong? Ah here we go, air conditioning is currently off, set to manual, let the blowers fire up and that should fix the problem. Done. Next, interior lights as required. I'm just going to whack them all on because I want to. Exterior lights as required. And I'm just going to whack them all on because I want to. Finally, um, we will need to jump through to our rear seat because we can only do this really properly from the rear seat. Uh, and I'm not going to set the whole rear seat up because that's not what this video is about. But if we're going to go up as a jet, we really will need our countermeasures operational. So, left, RCS, ICS to combat. ICS to auto. Uh, we want our ICS on. Left in auto, 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 RWR on, EWWS on, and our master mode for the countermeasures. I'm just going to default to manual, and that is really whatever you see fit. And that, thus far, at the time of making this video, is the front seat cold start pretty much ready for combat.